Hello there everyone and welcome back to Old World Blues, A to Z series which we're playing is Montana chapter. Last time we expanded quite greatly, we got rid of uh, Sentinel Honor and of course Minerva. But, um, we're not quite ready to go to war with MacArthur yet, unfortunately. Our divisions just are not strong enough, so we're going to do some more focuses first and then go to war with them. Uh, what are we doing for it first? Um, putting the locals to work. Many of the people here are scavengers, no doubt many of them would be better suited helping us produce our equipment. Um, division to support paper. Uh, praising the old H and H factory. There's a rather large H and H tools factory within town. If we were to renovate it and place some of our newfound workforce within, we'd be able to increase production by a significant amount. Absolutely. Um, what else we got here? Because I don't mind getting a technical technical armor. That'd be helpful. Very helpful, actually. Well, exploring exploiting Fort Verity. Despite some local interference with our operations, maybe we can make some mutually progressive developments, improving quality of life for our men and the nearby civilians, at the very least. I have to make them back off and save our ammo. So, people are going to kill each other here and whatnot, and that's fine with us. We don't really care. Um, justify. Maybe we'll come back. Oh, never mind. Never mind, we're not coming back. We also need to core more stuff, too, so there's that as well. Uh, hopefully, we can start coring things soon, or sooner rather than later. Because <clears throat> um, I do want to get down here. Power Armor Studies are establishing a work program. So, when we first arrive with a decent supply ourselves, understanding how to replicate our armor species in any fashion is paramount to continued presence here in Montana. Otherwise, replacing portions of our armor will only grow more and more costly. Power line repairs. We can set out nights to work on setting up and maintaining the old power lines in and around Fort Verity. While we don't have much of a hold on energy yet, it'll undoubtedly improve any powered infrastructure. Imagery is nice, but we keep contributing a lot to it. We'll need to bolster it up eventually. There we go. Research bonus for them. Um, are we missing anything here? Power armor, anti tank. Don't think we can buy any anti tank yet. Explosives are nice. And grass, of course. Cooper. Chop shop. Gun runners, of course. By one for now. Set of people down. Continue codex principles. Probably not for now. Uh, for technological breakthrough. It's not terrible. Settlements. Help the settlements out, please. <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> and further, excuse me, too. Let's see. More factors for the government. That's not terrible to have. Uh, don't need that one. Good. Better radio. Nice. So a little more time here. Power armor studies. Uh, power repairs. Power line repairs. And then reestablishing a work program. We have all the power, all the technical techno scraps, and all the empty facilities we could need at the moment. With a stranglehold on freight, Fort Verity further solidified, we can sit next to work. And then my daddy gives me an allowance. With all our regional developments, we can turn our minds to the most important thing of all, more power armor authentic to our image. Yes. Good. We want output. Contact with us, not ideal. Cultural assimilation, expand army training, yeah. We're going to. Are we waiting to build ourselves up even more? Found the expedition, which is good. Uh, we'll do that one next. And good. Work programs are nice. Midwest, they are already 20 combos, which is good. And they have anti tank on them as well. So that is ideal. Build manpower. Don't need that immediately. Principal still doing this, which is awesome. Three guns got 15 kids. Don't need that immediately either. So we're looking okay over here. Plain stuff? We could probably do some plain stuff. Scavenge with these guys. How much money do we actually have? We get 16 a month. It's not terrible. Could be better. And more infrastructure for us. Build, 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 build. <coughs> Same coalition. I'm not going to do that too. Warrior code. Replace it with combined arms. Oh, fuck no. Now you can do that. There you go. And because I really want to make sure we produce some advanced technical armor. Yeah. See, we don't have just have enough power armor divisions here. Um, 
Go medium. We do need more power armor and anti tank, so really try to ramp up power and production. A little more anti tank as well. Mm, don't think we need this this many planes for now. There we go. So we need more scrap, huh? Uh. Oh. Okay, we got him as a puppet. That's a little different. Brother Dependency, Paladin Siegfra. Oh. We believe in ourselves. Appealing to Siegfra. They're the Ruminators. Fireflies. Huh. I didn't realize that. That's actually really nice. Wait a second. Our military means now to find we may now continue our focus once we answer now to the Brotherhood. I love a free territory, basically. Very nice. There we go. Good. All right. That's that's really good, actually. Uh, I'd rather this one last time, so we're gonna do this one too because we need the scrap. We really could use better scrap. Oh, now it's hurting us really badly. Oh god. All right. So where are we at with all this stuff? That help definitely helps us out. That helps us out maybe. Um, 48, and it's all cheap, which is nice. A few more factories, a few more resources, definitely. We need some energy and some advanced components now, too. Ooh, look at that. Gold, 31 military factories. Eh, eh. Hello? Tools. Um, what is this one for now? Let's get that expanding them. Do one more. Because they're only <laughs> eight combo, which is not good. I have a cup of coffee or two. This will hurt. This will be kind of a drain on our manpower, but we have to have them. Something a little bit of staying power. It's not great, but you know, whatever. All right. Uh, let's see. Infrastructure. Uh, motorized attack defense, anti tank, armor speed. Clearing out that airfield. Uh, the airfield hangars, unfortunately, appear to have become a soup kitchen under the control of some frontiersmen. We need to be dealt with one way or another. They'll need to be. Want my two caps? Get a couple grenades, lob them in there. You do the math. Simple enough. Simple enough. increase our political power we need it for later <clears throat> so we really started ramping up hopefully more production here uh, we're just missing a lot of energy advanced components energy, advanced components. I don't think we'll get anything like that here air XP energy weapons industry water you can also just get dagger squad too Dagger squad among the cream of the Midwest Brotherhood, a unit that traces their efforts to the war against the calculator and the sack of Springfield. They've come to help secure our hold on this rich, untamed region. Well, I wanted to save that for later, but whatever. Manpower. And reaches the chance again. Sounds of Kaga. I'm close to this one for now. Good, we got all this stuff done. Uh, naval intelligence, naval cost doctrine, repair speed, faster repair. Ooh, more daily experience gain, though. Yeah, repair faster, why not? We need at least one division per tile. Uh, their division is actually pretty strong, too. Well, since we're here, emergency conscription matters. It's not pretty, but many of the locals around here already are well-armed and capable of defending themselves. Well, maybe not enclave ready. We can conscript them into our ranks and have them serve as auxiliaries to our forces. If anything, serve as shields and allow us to keep our armor in better condition. Alright, so we got you three. What do you guys like? 20 combat width. Perfect. So would that be enough to maybe go to war with them, maybe? Potentially. 
We got enough divisions over here. It should be okay, especially since we've been building them up. Should be all right. Uh, more manpower, please. At least one division per tile, at the very least. Yeah. I just don't think we'd be able to win. Because they have a lot of divisions. They have active tank as well, which is not ideal. But we do have planes, but they may have planes as well. I just don't see us in a scenario yet where we can just drastically win. Description is good. Uh, cooling forges. Thrift with some of those sisters that stay behind with us has set up some forces to help in forges to help try and create new pieces of for the rifles we've accrued. Allow him to have his water that he'll need. Will allow him to cool all the forges as necessary. Old city. It's a little things. It's a strange thing happened today. Thrift had a sneaking suspicion about a ticking sound and kept insisting he could hear out in the woods. And then I finally let him go investigate. He opened a colossal five by five pit of plasma mines. We have a, when, while we have a whole team set on disarming them, which is always a, well, hardly a good thing, I'm hoping that we can take them apart and use them to help Stargazer. You know what? How about we start with this stuff here, too? Yeah. Uh, shouting them down. As Paladin and Raichek once taught many of our initiates, yelling and shouting often is quite effective to, on their development and effective soldiers. Power Armor Training. Many of the promoted individuals within the Power Brotherhood have never seen extensive time in a suit of Power Armor. If we want more base on training, we're going to need to acclimate them. Seed selection, uh, construction speed, maybe. Cult of the Jaguar. Good. Good. Alright, so this one's gonna be next to core. Oh, well, we don't need the uh, energy we need, which is good. Boom. Since we're here already, you know what could be helpful? Maybe circle steel? Yes. We already maxed that out. Uh, we're going to focus more on special forces now. It's not going to help out, but it helps out with production, so. Uh, power armor charge. You want my thoughts on these idiots? <clears throat> Tell them they don't need to be running like a gosh darn marathon all the time. If they, if they keep it at it, they're going to wear down the fusion cores before the Enclave can even meet them. From Paladin Heyman. Even better. Uh, Paladin Patcher. Or Paladin Patcher. Power armor Patcher. Listen up, recruits. Here's a power armor maintenance hack. Those stick up the Yahoo will agree with. Dented helms, cracked pathogens, grab some scrap metal, slap that baby on, and treat yourself to new paint over from Paladin Minerva. Please don't do that. Please don't make me beg from Elder Patroclus. <clears throat> and the power armor stabilization. Many of the newbies have begun teaching one another about the power armor, increasing their efficiency and camaraderie in the field. Truly, they grew up so fast. Hey, we have 16 now. That's good. It's a little better. I mean, we could try it, perhaps, but... Armor. Oh, let's go with defense, since we're going to be on defense for a while, it looks like, perhaps. Alright, so let's save real quick. See what happens. <coughs> Excuse me, if it's good, it's good. If it's not good, then it's not good. So, we go to war with them. Can we just, like, not die? Special forces be special forces. We can't pierce each other, but we do get the brotherhood from Lost Hills to help us out. Which is nice. Should we just go in, actually? I know there's special forces, but we've got three divisions here. You actually might be able to push in two. Which would be pretty nice. We were losing here, which is not good, but we're winning here, which is awesome. Um, let's get over the river. If we can't make encirclements, we better, gosh darn, better. This is very touch and go. Go get over that river. Um, I want to attack here. And it looks like they're going to win there. Not ideal. Steel Town, they do not have a core, but they do have a lot of compliance. Huh. That's going to help us out. Next one as well. Oh, let him stay there. You know, if you can't win, so be just hold. It's fine. I'm not going to win there, but we're going to win here, too. Mm, two divisions power armor. Mm, two of you, one. And two are losing there. Uh, 
Oh boy. You all to hold. Hold, hold, hold. You know what? You're gonna force the defense. They want to force the attack, that's fine, but we cannot afford to lose. Can you go on the offense? Maybe? In some areas, definitely yes. Uh huh. We're not gonna fight between us. Uh huh. Uh huh. So we're doing okay so far. You go up here. And you go. here. This is a lot of options. That'd be nice. Can you go in here and destroy their divisions? Yes. I think overall we, we will succeed in the end. Um, we get that as free technology later on, I think, anyway, so. Should not research those things, but whatever. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think we'll win in the end here. Should. Nice. You don't need to go there, just go here. There you go. I know it's over a river, but we need these guys dead now. Especially when they're fighting power armor. The faster you help out and kill them off, the faster you can move around and do something else. So let's take a look at the losses. 500 versus 2,000. That's not bad. It's actually pretty good. Especially since we're fighting basically the Enclave. So I'm feeling okay about that. Go here. Um, sure. Uh, you're getting attacked. It's not ideal. The last shell, huh? Now it says you think you'll win. How about this? Let's hold. Even if you're winning, just hold. Yeah, get up there too. Oh, uh, you can up out here, perhaps. It's fine. Get over the river. We got a couple extra power armor divisions that need to be moved around, whatnot. There you go. I actually want you to hold here too. It's good. But you can help out. So far, not bad. Soft attack and such. Cultural advisors. Uh, we're gonna go with Wall Painter, I guess, because he's unique. Uh, despite achieving the rank of high high rank of paladin, Harry has always felt more comfortable among the scribes in the workshop. In her spare time, she can usually be found tinkering with designs for new production methods. Cool. Uh, naval designer, light ship, that's fine. Vehicle designer, tanks, motorized, motorized. There we go. Sure. Is it worth it? Probably not. This one's definitely worth it. Um, good. Sure. Oh, uh, eventually, don't we get all the Montana cord? Yeah, well, eventually we do, so I'm gonna. We're already out of manpower too, though. So. There's no way we can get more, so that's why we did it. Sure. That's my excuse. Uh, that's more territory. Well, not attack move here. Recruiting disenfranchised. So, while some of them were disenfranchised by rival in Montana, no doubt there are plenty of men and women here with a pathetically little amount to their name. The brother can offer them an identity they can never find on their own. So they're not attacking us, which is fine. We lost about 700, roughly. Um. Where's another good spot for encirclements? And where do we have most of our divisions? Two makes sense here. One, two, three, four, no. Uh, how about we just push in just a little bit? See what we can do here. Good. I think I see a little area we could maybe do okay in. Yeah. Yeah. It's not bad. So let them move around first. Maybe they'll. Because I wanted to make an instrument up here. Let's see what they do. Oh, hello. This is not good. Uh, oh, actually, it's the Lost Hills chapter that's doing this. Interesting. Good. We're doing another line doctrine. 
So now we need to save up more army HP so we can get and expand our land doctrine and more. I'll give you a little more manpower too. Actually, can you just go here? Oh, this is too much, I guess. Nice. Uh-huh. Hmm. They caught on to us. Let's go in. It's fine. It's fine. Good. And... Every pallet and a brick. Alright, listen up, you sorry abandoned air to wells and ninka poops. Every single one of you is now initiated in the Brotherhood of Steel. By the end of this training course, you'll be well on your way to being a paladin if you take even a cap of what I've seen you sorry little noggins from Paladin Haven. Uh, okay. You know, you might be able to make an instrument here too. Even with infantry, you might be able to. Maybe. Don't let him leave. Especially if it's power armor over there. Come on. Ah, and they're attacking. Good. Good. And you're holding out against power armor on your own accord? Now that's something that you can be proud of. Good. Look at that. Fantastic. And you all are gonna come here and then do this. Boop. Very nice. Oh, that's not good though. Well, how'd they get over here? Hello? Well, certainly not good. Hmm. I see a little yummy area. Come on. Good. Immediately go in. Good. Beautiful. Oh! You know what? That's not a bad one. We just won't let you leave. There you go. Every pallet in a wall. Recently we held a promotional ceremony to congratulate some of our own on their valor in developing skills. Pallet and Heyman had this to offer. Well, I'll be darned. You bunch of idiots did it. It almost makes me want to cry. Consolidate our forces a little bit better. Do you have anything here to say? Let's do a look see. So, with the power armor, they do get a little bit of recon. I don't mind getting more recon for our recon. Let them get to where they want to be first, or need to be first. Oh, man. Oh, there's another one. Oh, there's a waterway down here, too. Oh. That's something I didn't realize. That's good to know. Very good to know, actually. Get your butts in there. Honestly, we might just be able to push. Maybe. Go ahead. Go in. I think we should be able to have them now. Just gotta be safe. Rocket launchers. Um, since we're using these guys, we're gonna use the medical teams too. Not working good. Uh, dedicated equipment's good. You know, let the infantry go maybe. Then I'm gonna take some casualties down in the south, but that's alright. I think just using them to get more territory overall is gonna be very, very important. Uh, hmm. Giving a thousand tens. Power Armor does only so much for initiates. Genuine pre-war exercise techniques are proven to help. <clears throat> and for the orders of Powden Haven, anyone disagrees with that is cleaning the Brahmin pens. Makes sense. Proper. Uh, good, 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 good. Still out of some things here, but it's looking very good right now. I'll go here, so you can beat them up, and then circle them. Good, look at that. They cannot recover. Something that we love. 
guys just here to pretty much just take all the territory possible. Boop. Get all the way through, all the way through here, all the way through here. That's nice. All right, so casualties we lost a thousand, eleven hundred versus six, almost seven thousand. No help. Oh, more divisions died. Love it. Kamas Prairie, huh? Well, maybe on your way over you can go to Missoula first. The Enclave cannot be trusted. Obviously. Bursting metal. Ain't nothing better than the smell crushing and smelting metal, which reminds me that we're running low on scrap metal. Worry not, I've got a plan. I figured out a way better way to salvage metal. Just need some time to teach our scavenger guys the way. From night threat. Hey, and we got a trade node, finally. Now we're not gonna be completely poor. At level five, now it's average. Not bad. Hey, we got him, look at that. You know? I'd love to take the extra time at the beginning of the episode to actually get through all this. Because that is one heck of an achievement. Now I want to go standing rock. How big is standing rock? Uh, they're not that strong. Okay, so I think just power armor could take them out themselves. I don't want to use these guys too much infantry because they are squishy. Squish, 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 squish. Yeah. All right, so that's good. So now I'm going to stop coring all of Montana and the Dakota. I think we can core them too. So, so we had this one millions, perhaps billions, perish because of the Enclave's masters. Now the Colonel plots in her icy fort to seize the remaining missiles. But we're merciful. There's no one beyond redemption. No one who cannot be bound. Let us prepare our proposed Ellen Santiago to surrender and use this as a chance to warn our deluded subjects. Let's not be much idiots. Your elder demands strike so quick and calculus and these rat bastards crying on the plains of Chicago. That means one thing and one thing only. We will not rest, not waver, not cry or moan or bitch or shout until that mountain of theirs is leveled. By the time we're done, I'll see every piece of their sorry metal hides bent and broken every which way. The human brain possibly think up. Do I make myself clear? From head, paladin, Heyman. I purge your uncle elite. Although we hope that everyone has a chance to join in the great chain, some people are simply too far gone. Or too corrosive for that. While some of their children and non-combatants have value, the leaders of this little cabal must be punished for their crimes in Navarro and Boys Town. I, know, I think we get a claim on every Montana state, but whatever. It's a lot of time still. Uh, dynamite. Make your infantry a little stronger, I guess. Steel reigns in Montana. Uh, but first, MacArthur scraps. The Enclave here, well, well, rustic to say the least. Had quite a bit of technology that's destroyed in our skirmishes. Collecting it would give us a lot of supply of scrap to work with. Hey, lost a supply package. Hey, T-51B power armor and advanced energy weaponry. Thank you. And thank you for your help in the war. I have to talk quite a bit. Nice. Good stuff. Prop up Steel Town or prop up Missoula. <coughs> nice. Oh, we have Northern Lights here too, huh? Oh, Middlemark's territory. That's good. Ooh, gun. Oh, we can start making gunships. Oh. Starting compliance. Well, we need Church of the Silo territory underneath us, though. Uh, sure, for now. And what else? You know what? We're just going to come here, anyways. More output. Um, constructive thought. You know what makes for a good time? A roof that doesn't <clears throat> collapse on you. Focusing on actual proper construction techniques will aid immensely in our efforts here in Montana. stuff. Too bad we don't have any manpower. Ooh, do we need more energy weapons? Steel reigns in Montana. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. In the span of a few hours, the Monta uh, MacArthur Air Force Base was infiltrated by brother forces and detonated from within by an IED, designed by none other than Knight Thrift. <clears throat> for better or for worse. Um, the few survivors and regional stragglers now answered to the Brotherhood's authority. Out of Patroclus, uh, who was present at the aftermath, 
had this to say when prompted for a statement. MacArthur was a den of devils that got exactly what it deserved. As for our own, I couldn't be proud of what we've achieved. <clears throat> it's in the service of steel and guardianship of one of brothers that each man finds his purpose. My friends, stand with your brothers, guard them, guide them, and each of them find purpose. Though brief, his words are said to have reinvigorated the exhausted brother personnel and turned many of their minds to the, great, the rest of the region. The brotherhood prevails. Awesome. Hey, swim scrap. And tons of political power. Wow. Awesome. Um, sure. Uh, go and do that too. Why not for now? We could use a political power for us. Ad Victorium. Construct a thought. Claims on all of Montana and Dakota. Oh, in time for the cherry blossoms. Ah, effect on the update. Maybe we don't get cores on them. Maybe I was wrong. Brotherhood's wings. Seems Major Santiago is unable to destroy even every vertebrate before we seize MacArthur. Her secrets shall be the gateway to many victories. Busted Enclave machinery. Unlike the ones we find in typical wasteland comp a romp around, the machines employ the Enclave are fairly well kept. With a simple repaint job, inscribe or tutor or program them, we can recommission them as official Brotherhood auxiliaries. Well, maybe we, don't, we get claims, we don't get cores. Which does kind of suck. Hey, sophisticated construction stack. Awesome. No, guys, I don't, we don't need that. Hundred percent. I love hundred percent. Sure. Four thousand eight much. You know what? We're here to map paint, so this needs to look nice. Can we just go in? Yeah, they got horses, and the horses have, have a little bit of armor on them and whatnot, but it still isn't that much. Rules. Oh, hello, middle mock. Well, that's different. I was not expecting that. Um, maybe our adventure could get up there fast enough. Hopefully. I mean, there's a lot of territories that they gotta move around and whatnot. But they can hold out here until the power armor's done with the war. Should be okay. Dig in, get that organization. Who else is just fine on us? Just middle mark. Okay. Might be able to hold out, maybe, maybe not. Alright, so there's that. Um, yeah, we definitely need that too. Balloons. Fine. Good, still training. Uh, let's save real quick. They do have only robots. And we do have anti-tanks. So we should be able to pierce through them. And we did throw in some chems on our guys, too. Uh, night patrols. Demo teams. Just in case. Force integration. Trickle back. Oh. Alright, so you guys gotta go faster than this. Literally, no one can stop moving. Oh, where's Kepo? If you can't, yeah, have that tile, that's fine. Brothers' wings, that's good. Um, we need more manpower. Sing it in. Recruiting raiders. Montana's a thriving cesspool of raider scum and highway vagabonds. Killing all these able bodied sons of guns is only going to do a modicum of good compared to taking them off the streets and throwing them in their brotherhood suit and pointing them at the bad guys. Should do okay here, and this will actually help clean this up a little bit more. Well, all right. Well, full force defense then. No force attack. Full force defense. Got worked here. It's going to be very costly, but we can do it. Come on, Brotherhood Paladins, hurry up! Just take this territory. Come on. Where's the capital? Ah, Upton. Maybe we should not have gone to war with them, but we'll see. Get over here. Uh, 
here, get some more core defense, defense on core territory and whatnot. Helps out slightly with manpower, ever so slightly. Good. More guns. Next capital. Go here. Do not allow them to live. No living for you. Good. How about slightly? So much for getting that, uh, you know, focus done to just five or middle marks territories. Um, recruiting, oh, recruiting miners. Several significant mines within this region, per the Coal Consortium's doctrine. It was significant enough that we ran into several already. It's a decent place to drive recruits from. Nobody wants to be stuck in a dead end cave forever. Okay, that would suck. Come on, come on, come on, come on. What the hell are you doing? Oh my god, you are beefing yourself really freaking hard here. Zangrok should be dead by now. You are using the most powerful things things in the wasteland, basically. And you can't win these stupid wars. Come on, let's grow up now. Hello? How did you get encircled? Are you dumb? Go in here. Go, go. Come on. We're actually going to lose a thing of power armor because the AI is so stupid. Well, we will see about that. Alright, everyone. So we finished off the Standing Rock people. And they're gone. Thank God. Jesus Christ. That was so stupid. Um, never let the AI work for you, which I should listen to my own advice. But we did kick in the switch. There are numerous forms of hydroelectric power just waiting to be utilized in the rivers here. To happen in these, we'll strengthen our hold on not just power, but water as well, and scrap an old robots. And they change it factory. There's plenty of old robots we had to clear out on our way in. While the paladins had to set them aside, we had to set our focus on scrapping a few of them to repurpose their assets for our own needs, hopefully. Still cheered in a small assortment. We'll be able to make use of it. Uh, drilling in. Running military drills will help us with restoring order back to our own ranks. And to renew initiates from the area. Tribal teachings. Some of the paladins within our ranks were once tribal, as Midwestern or otherwise, taking note of their customs, primitive as, as they may be, could be advantageous. So, But yeah, now, uh, we're just kind of hanging out here. The Lost Tales chapter is really trying to attack, but they're not doing so well. I mean, middle market continues to attack us like crazy, so I'm kind of okay with this. Oh, and they declared war on people to the north as well. Okay, then. Wow. I'm thinking that's kind of a mistake, but that's alright. Let your enemy make mistakes. Too bad. Uh, if they could take out Safe Haven too, I mean, honestly, that'd be pretty good for us. That'd be just more free territory for us. But uh, we'll watch their careers with great interest. Yeah, Lost Tales, you need to like concentrate your forces. <clears throat> that'd be for the best. Oh, they're actually expanding. Of course, then again, Safe Haven isn't super great, I guess. But still, whatever. Open attackers, industrial moves. The key to our success on this mission is keeping uh, consistent production and maintaining our repairs. Sitting Warwick and his nice to figure out the nearby workshops will be able to help get a jump on a proper functioning industrial side. Wish me, so. As long as they can't penetrate our lines, that's the most important thing. And they take out Safe Haven? Good. Then we'll just attack them again. Attack them harder. Calgary? Yeah. Pretty much. Uh, sure. Why not? Uh, we're not just fine. Anybody able to do that too? And that's fine. Cool. All right. And advanced salvaging. There are several terminals and subsystems in the area that we can tear apart for what's inside to help with our own repairs and manufacturing. If we're going to stay for a while, we may as well get comfortable. And Mendoza's Casket. Mendoza's Casket is a bit of a local legend, an old police station that was co-opted by the National Guard and made into a treasure trove and armory. Though it said whatever is inside is legendary, it is, of course, guarded by centuries-old security systems and booby traps. So getting a team meal takes some time and may incur some losses, but good pay off. Good, now we need all that political power. Good. That war sport's looking pretty nice. Partenas. Oh, and we got, we'll start working on our next land auction as well. 
And we went with Asymmetric Warfare, and we're going to go down the Legion route, because we are, in fact, a version of the Legion. Our own Legion. <clears throat> Come on. Kill them all. As soon as they do, we're going to push in. As soon as they capitulate them. Actually, how close are they to capitulation? We're only halfway. Alright, that's fine. And then we really need to consolidate our territory, too. <clears throat> They're really thinning out their line, which is good. Very good for us. Right, let's come up here, and we're going to do planes as well for now. It's fine. Once this encirclement's gone, I think the safe is pretty much dead. Uh, imposing property taxes. The locals here sit on treasure troves of old rolled relics and uh, crap. Okay. caps. So if we're to integrate with the region better, and I'll allocate our resources effectively, we'll need to, per to purloin some amount of the local. Uh, amount of the locals' belongings. Yeah, pretty much. <clears throat> Good. Ah, oh, they're, they're slowly getting there. Adorn and tribal markings. Well, untraditional. Some of our soldiers seem to work better when they're allowed to express themselves in their uncivilized manners. While a tad he heinous, it may prove to be our benefit. And the loyalty to the brother, they're allowed to do so. Sure. Ha. Ah. Where are you going? Don't you know it's the wrong way? Come on, can't you just capitulate them? How many divisions do... 68, that's quite a few divisions actually. Uh-huh, uh-huh. What are we missing here? Oh, we, need, we just need more guns. Guns against... Holy crap, we need a lot of guns. Well, the more we core, the better it should get, so... 109. Can't core that one yet. Boom. That one's very important to core. Good. Good. Very nice. Do not want safe haven alive. Just makes things easier for us. Light metals are nice. Biplane fighters, or just like, like monoplane fighters, I should say, really. Optimized trading. Eh. How much money do we actually get? 49? It's not a ton, but it's, it's a little amount. We're in trouble markings, drilling it in. Come on, safe haven. Advanced tools. Oh. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. So it hurt the war for just a little bit, but you know, I, I don't like how much are spreading out across their own territory here too. It's fine. <clears throat> Any other places? Ooh, ooh, Yellowstone might be good to court too. Yeah, 128 is needed. I don't think we can request manpower from these guys, can we? Request forces. No, call it arms. I mean, we could, but that wouldn't help us out really. No, we don't need you either. And then recruiting wanderers. It seems that the longer we've been here in Montana that we just keep finding newer and newer issues all around us. Plenty of folks out here are wanderer types, real store book heroes, type of imbeciles. I say we gather them up, give them a rifle, and tell them what for, without aiming. Of course, we have no cheap navy, which makes sense. Which is fine. Uh, budget, that's not bad. I don't want more, this for more political power, though. Come on, my god. Just kill them all. They have only 13 divisions. Looks like the Lost Hills chapter is just doing what it wants to kill them off. So, um, Thrust Garage. Thrust has requested a bigger warehouse for his tanker needs. We can spare him one of our larger warehouses, though his efforts to move all the stuff from the old dingy workshop to the warehouse may take some time. <clears throat> I dream of purple Corvegas. Alright, we have a request, but I found this nice car in one of those old crumbling cities. And get this, the sweet thing's mostly in a single price. I think I can get a single piece. I think I can repair it, but I'll need a few guys to drag it out in, out of the city and put in things on moving belts. Let's keep moving, folks. we got workshops to build, guns to manufacture, and a whole lot of roll to see. All of which don't need to go hand in hand, but hey, don't we like a little fun? So we got those two to do as well. Um, <clears throat> not cleanup service. 
Though the scouts intel, we marked a few spots on land that could be suitable for infrastructure. Problem being the rubble, but Thrift claims he's got the perfect fix for that. He just needs a bit of C4 and authorization. That's all. Or burrows. Okay. Continue on with all that stuff there. That'll be good. Triplane fighters. And triplane fighters too. Thrift's garage. And let's do some taxes. An acting brother authority through here. <clears throat> Ball of unity, that's fine. Give him some fire teams. Gonna have manpower a little bit, but whatever. And improvise obstructions, yes, yes. Ball of heaven's gate. Ooh. High chapel. Oh, good job, high chapel. Yeah, sir, we don't need you. Uh, we don't care at this point. Yellowstone? Yes, please. A few more factories, a few more resources. Quite a bit more energy. What's not to love? So they're getting there through there. And then we'll do this one and go from there. Knowing the enemy. I know the big guns back home. <clears throat> Would have had a piss on all things Raider, but they work for a reason. <clears throat> Montana's new, it's foreign. It can bite us when we least suspect it, but why don't we use anything well why don't we use anything and all at our disposal? Natin Brother Authority. Our reports indicate that this region is rich in old world relics, even with more caps stashed around within and within local residencies. As the region has seen a little trade, these people are isolated. It may be in our best interest to take on what we can. We just took just enough, took what we wanted, took everything we saw, took nothing the locals were grip for. Get some more stability. We don't need the money in a very harsh contact, so that'll be fine. <clears throat> Oiling up them big old tanks. There's a common saying that gets passed down to recruits on the first night. If it sounds like all hell's broken loose, three out of four out of the chances it's nothing. And if you hear a captain, then that's an innovation. Armor, huh? Maybe we should have gone with uh, conventional warfare, but whatever. Greasing up the trucks. Thrift has decided that our trucks are in need of greater maintenance. His new additions are questionable, daring even, but if Thrift hasn't let us down thus far. Get in, dudes. We're going tanking. We're not thrifting. Building cars, old style. Building one for practicality or flashiness. A bit of vintage, never hurt anybody. There's a beauty in old cars. Don't believe me? Let me show you. Cleaning up old rifles. We found a catch of old war weaponry. Though ancient and far from our stout, Thrift says he sees potential in augmenting the rifles to our standards. Certainly, uh, we certainly can't provide him the means and demolition acquisition. Well, I'm gonna put it simply. We need boom. We're running low on that thing. Makes that makes boom. Murder. Let's get more, please, please. And does his casket stockpile. Though the inside of the station was dangerous and some soldiers were wounded, they managed to bring back some of the treasure before collapse. But they managed to get power armor. Ooh, yeah, definitely power. But we're getting there. We actually were very successful in this episode once again. And I think the next one will be the last one as we take out Middlemark, Safe Haven, maybe the Canadian Labor Congress, maybe. Well, we'll see. So, <clears throat> if you enjoyed the video, though, please consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow as we continue on with the Montana chapter. Thanks for watching, and have a great rest of your day.